7 News at 9. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. It's a controversial issue. Embryonic stem cell research and whether or not the federal government should fund it. Tonight, an Austin woman's crusade to see that happen as she battles to walk once again. Whether you're for it or against it, Austinite Susan Fight doesn't really care about the politics surrounding embryonic stem cell research. All she knows is that she doesn't want to be a paraplegic anymore. I would give everything I have to have that given back to me. But she does want politicians in Austin to hear her story about Andrew Krupsack, a former paraplegic. A car accident nearly 19 years ago put him in a wheelchair. But he says embryonic stem cell injections got him out of it last year. It was a miracle to be able to walk again, to be able to feel my legs again. It was a miracle. Within a month of the injections, Krupsack says his toe twitched. From there, it just progressed daily. Just nine short months ago, I wasn't able to do this. And now, with crutches, he can walk. Not easy for Fight to watch because she knows she cannot get the same procedure. She says that experimental trial is no longer available. I get to watch Andrew walk and recover. And I want the same thing for myself. I want the same thing for the world. Krupsack says he was on a waiting list for five years, and because his spinal cord was not severed, he received the experimental procedure nearly a year ago in Dallas and in Pittsburgh. As of right now, a confidentiality agreement prevents him from revealing the doctors and facilities involved. Krupsack says his family physician, however, has followed his progress and is just as amazed. He carries the letter saying so. I was told by numerous physicians that I would never walk again, that I would be a paraplegic for the rest of my life, um, that there was nothing more that they could do for me. Fight Krupsack and their loved ones say their fight to federally fund embryonic stem cell research is not about advocating abortion or women's rights or any other issue, but for a cure. And not just for spinal cord injuries, but for other diseases that would ultimately help so many others suffer. It's imperative that we move this, that I don't sit on the porch and watch him walk. I, too, get to join him. Fight was among the first Americans to receive an experimental adult stem cell therapy in Portugal last year. She says it ultimately didn't work.